Hey guys, RC here. Back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20 uh, NFL Simulator. This is episode 9. We're in our second season with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, made the playoffs last year. Did not uh, get very far. And we're 3-1 and one here in the early going. If uh, you didn't watch last episode, go check it out. Uh, we ended up uh, finishing up free agency, setting our roster for the season, and also uh, playing our first uh, five weeks of the season. So just a quick recap on standings. There is the National League Bears 4-1, and one, Falcons and Buccaneers 4-1. and one. Saints have yet to win a game. Uh, just a reminder, uh, Drew Brees and uh, Tom Brady both retired last season, so evidently the Saints are struggling. Let's check out their uh, let's check out their roster. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, eighty-two. Edward White an eighty-one. Taysom Hill a seventy. So uh, Bridgewater not doing so hot. Let's look at his stats here. Well, he's only started, he hasn't started any games. Um, he certainly appears to be the best quarterback. I'm guessing maybe Edward White is starting then, and that would be the affirmative. 58%, six touchdowns, three interceptions. Is Taysom Hill playing any? No, he's not playing. What are his ratings like? He's an interesting player. Agility, arm, accuracy, speed, hand. So, you know, he can catch the ball. He can run the ball. He's an interesting player in real life. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, the Saints are not doing well. Uh, let's go back to the standings. Uh, so, we are 3-1. and one. Arizona's 4-1. and one. The Niners are 0-5. Oh wow. Jimmy G's evidently struggling down there. Over in the American League, Pittsburgh 4-1. and one. Houston Texans are unbeaten. That's horrible uh, to see. Tennessee's looking for their first win. Patriots 2-2, two two, but only a game out of the playoff race. And Buffalo 0-5. Oh Oakland's 4-1. and one. And Kansas City 1-4. and four. Mahomes must be struggling, huh? Roster. Oh, he's questionable. Ouch. So let's see. Stats. So he started all five games, only 57% completion. Hmm. 15 touchdowns. Certainly not what he really did last year. And what's his uh ratings? An 86, yeah. So Eh, you know, and I think Mahomes was one of the guys specifically mentioned in one of the comments a few episodes back that, um, uh, you know, that his rating was lower than Dak Prescott's. And again, all I can tell you on that is it's a game and you've got to be the one to determine if, if fake players made up of X's and O's in a computer program is something you can live with. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Um, but yes, I, I do believe Mahomes is on the surface a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. He's only done it for one year. I like to see it at least two seasons. You know, Dak has, I think, has great leadership, and I think he's got ability, but he's not he's not a Drew Brees, he's not a Peyton Manning that can carry a team. He needs people like Amari Cooper and Ezekiel Elliott, Elliott around him. My opinion as a Cowboy fan. All right, let's get into it. We're playing Tampa Bay this week. Uh, so let's simulate the week. And show the score. 19 to 13. Yes. 21 out of 32. 292. No touchdowns, a pick. Cooper, 6 for 117. Jameis Winston scored a three-yard touchdown run. Elliott, we only had 12 first downs. 
142 yards rushing, 200 yard receivers, and neither. Whew, sorry, guys. It's it's still early. I'm you know this is Saturday morning. Uh, so this is my second epi series episode of uh, this game since uh, since I woke up at two o'clock. So sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, 200 yard receivers and neither one of them got the got a touchdown. Pretty crazy. All right, team news. Just because we want to look for injuries, everybody's probable. Oh, a broken wrist. Ouch. So he's doubtful. Uh, Neil. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong freaking team. Let's go back here, please. Team news. There we are. Oh, Jason Witten had retired in the preseason. I, I completely missed that. So he didn't retire until the preseason. Hmm. All right. Interesting. So we've got fatigue issues, but I have dropped it. They're all probable, so we're pretty good there. Uh, emails. Yeah. A woozy and white are bitching about playing time. This is the NFL, boys. If you're not, uh, you know, quarterbacks don't play. Sorry. I mean, that shouldn't even that should be coded into the game that they can't complain. Now the cornerback, possibly. Let's go look at our depth chart. That is right here. That, honestly, that print is really small. I'd like to see this maybe moved. I don't know. It's it's probably fine. You gotta remember, I'm old. I'm 52. <laughs> That's just hard for me to see from this distance. Uh, what were we looking at? Cobb. You know, I really want... I really want Cobb up here. And then ship. Uh, then I want Gallup. And then we can put ship there. Oh, and then I can put Gallup there and Gallup there I want Gallup playing a little more and yeah White's my third string quarterback dude you will never freaking play <laughs> never ever ever never do you hear me do you hear the words coming out of my mouth what was that rush hour I think <laughs> All right, Carolina. Whoa, 24 to 7, 5 and 1. Prescott, 22 for 30, 91 yards and two touchdowns for Zeke. Nice. A kickoff return, 96 yards for the Panthers. And then Randy Ship hauled in a deep ball. Rush got in. I hope Prescott's not hurt. I'm. Uh, Maybe that was something because we were winning by so much. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, Wiley. Remember, he was our late uh, draft pick this year. Uh, he ended up with uh, 10 carries for 45 yards. How's he doing this year? Eh, 43 for 155. Couple of scores. Not bad for the rookie. Uh, Gallup, four for 37. All right. Dak, Dak spreading the ball around, showing that uh, professionalism, that intelligence. Player report. Yeah. Don't care. I, I could give a damn about playing time. Uh, let's take a quick look at contracts. All right, so we're in 2020. Yes, we are. All right. Lyle Collins, $4.9 million. Um, an extension. Let's 
So he wants $5.3 million. I'm okay with... He's making 4.9. Can I get away with um, just over 5 and do it as a... front heavy like that and you can see doing the front heavy so basically this is I think this would be your way of paying a like a, a sign it's not a signing bonus but it's doing it to where it's front loaded and, and you you save on the back end I think all right so we're gonna go him so I do need to look at some guys here. Prescott's got a year left. Uh, Alan Hearns. I, you know, I don't know that I'm going to be able to sign him. Uh, Tyron Smith. Ooh, broken cheekbone, but he is probable. Uh, he started six games for us. Uh, player wishes 4.5 he's at 3.6 now so can I get him for about that and he's 30 so four years I think will be okay <coughs> all right we'll submit that oh boy Demarcus Lawrence yeah, he's pretty good. How's he doing this year? Three tackles for loss. Five sacks in six games. Um... Three point four nine. So he actually is willing to take a pay cut. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and submit that. Tavon Austin. I think I'm going to let him. I'm going to let him go. We'll let him walk. Elliot. Only 25, and he did not come out two years freaking early wanting a new contract. So, of course, he's from Ohio State, so I do expect bullshit like that. A friend. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with a five-year deal, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get him. I'm going to try to get him a little bit. Can I get you just under three million a year? We'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, I got a few more guys down here. We will look at them. I'm not not saying I won't sign them, but I do want I do want to get these guys done first, and then I can see how much money I got. All right. So let's get into it. Cause damn it, we got games to do. Let's go. All right, back. Ah, we get edged by Atlanta. Not not a great game there, man. Not a great game. Heard my John Gruden impression there, right? My sinuses are really helping get into the Chucky mode, you know? <laughs> 21 to 16, not good. Dak Prescott to Cooper. Elliott with a touchdown run. A couple of field goals. Not a bad game. Not horrible. That's pretty good. Wiley, 3 for 14. I, I'm pretty happy with him. Uh, Oliphant. Yeah, that's our rookie dude, man. How How is he doing? 241 yards. Let's check him out. So he started all seven games. 42, 25 catches out of 42 targets. No touchdowns, two drops. All right, so, you know, but 
he is he is starting. He is involved. So he's he's. I don't think he's a bust. Led the team in receptions this week. So yeah, you know. A lot of emails this week. Uh, your contract to Lyle Collins. Uh, all right. Didn't we just do a three-year deal for him? Pretty sure. All right, so let's jump into... Where was it? I just saw it. We were just there. Roster... No, that's not where it was. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, maybe. Nope. Upcoming free agents, maybe. That's not where I was, but let's see. Lyle Collins. Uh, contract. Didn't we only offer him? We offered him what he wanted. Well, then that's stupid. If that's true, then fix that because that's broken uh yeah that's fine we'll do, we'll do flat I don't, I don't know if that's gonna fix that but all right uh tyron smith signed your contract Woo! <laughs> more lucrative that's not surprising. All right, so DeMarcus. All right, where where did we go for that, right? Cat litter box. Thank God this is not smell-o-vision for you. Actually, it doesn't smell. I can't smell anything. Uh, roster? Where the hell was that screen I was just at a few minutes ago? I don't know. All right, well, upcoming free agents. All right, Demarcus Lawrence. Contract. I wish it showed what we offered him because I don't remember. It really does need to show that. In fact, I offered him what he wanted. I'm pretty damn sure. I'm going to have to go back and look at that now. All right. I did player wishes. Look at that. It changes all over the place. So, I mean, what do you want? Make up. Oh, there we go. I like that one. It's lower. Right? Okay. So, we offered what he wanted. Ezekiel Elliott wanted more lucrative from what I don't know. Yeah, I ain't paying you four million, buddy. Four years at three point four, sure, that's fine. We'll do that. Don't want to pay you that much. I just want to see. So I'm just, I just hit multiple times and it changes every time. So that's stupid. I gotta say that's stupid. Can't say I don't call it like I see it, guys. <laughs> That made no sense. All right. Uh, simulate week. Boom. Playing the Dolphins. 35-23. They do score 14 fourth quarter points. Dak throws for 264 yards. Two scores. Elliott, 83 yards. Two touchdowns. Wiley scores. Oliphant, 3 for 19. 7 for 98 for Hearns. Cooper, 6 for 88. Liking that. Kenny Stills, the ex-New Orleans Saint. Josh Rosen, good on you. 10 of 15. They just don't know. Jake Rudock from, uh, was that Michigan State? No, he, no, no, no. He went to Michigan, didn't he? Yes. He was a, a grad transfer, though. That's why I don't remember him very well. Michigan's my favorite college team. I thought he played for, uh, I thought he was the backup in Detroit. thought he was in Detroit. Oh, well. 
He doesn't play at Michigan anymore, and he doesn't play for the Cowboys. So, uh, da, da, da. all right. Uh, let's see. Email. All right, here we go. Okay, I offered what he wanted. So I will be making a complaint about this on the Wolverine forums. Uh, because, yeah, that's ridiculous. If you ask what the player wants and then you give him what he wants and they don't take it, how in the fuck are you supposed to actually make a, a decision on what to offer him, right? That's... That's bogus. All right. Well, I mean, I got to. There it is. Contracts. That's where it was. All right. So you're thinking about it. All right. I want you for four years. I want you for. Three point eight four, submit. Again, it needs to tell me what my last offer was too. I, I so that that is something. Vikings fire their defensive co coordinator. Pittsburgh resigns their coach. Arizona resigns their coach. Uh, the other guy we want to look at is Zeke Elliott. All right, contract. All right, I want him for, let's sign him for five years, uh, 3.7, front heavy, submit. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't tell you what the, what the contract is and remind you so you know where to build from there, I think that's rough. All right. Uh, let's see, week 10, so we did six, yeah, so we were going to go through week 11 this week, so simulate this week, boom, show the score, always hate losing to the Redskins, that's bitter, Prescott, 252 yards, two interceptions, a 43 rating, that's, that's not good. Oliphant, two catches, 11 yards. Darius Geis. Dwayne Haskins. Geis. Michael Gallup. That's... Uh... Brett Maher. Okay, that's our team. Josh Norman, a kickoff return. And another kickoff return. So two kickoff, two ooh, special teams might have to fire that guy. All right. In fact, are any of our coaches coming due? Staff. He's got five years. No, everybody's fine. All right. Emails. To become a start. Nice. I'm sure that's supposed to be a star. All right. So see, there should be a way to negotiate from this screen, I think. Just my opinion. All right. So Ezekiel, now that I don't have any idea what he wanted, what I offered him. All right. Contract. So we'll do three years. I'm okay with that. We'll do front heavy and sure. Let's submit that. All right. Uh, team. Team info. No. Team news. That's it. Ooh. Fractured arm. 
I'm guessing he's out. And those guys are out. All right. So 12 to 16 weeks. Oh, Fredericks. All right. So we need to go to roster. Roster management. Um, where are you at? All right, you, we're going to move to IR. Yes. All right. Um, we should have, okay, I still have two centers, and they're, they're both pretty good. I'm going to auto adjust roster. How do I get him? Is he is that for the rest of the season? I don't know why I thought you if they started on IR you could pull him off at some point. I guess not. Get out of there, cat. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, anyway. A lot of injuries here. My least favorite game of the year, because my two favorite pro teams, Dallas and the Saints. Usually, for for decades, I always pulled for the Cowboys. About 10 years ago, it was, then it became whoever kind of needed the win more. <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater, four freaking touchdowns. Jesus. Jesus. Eighty-six yards rushing, so the rushing defense is coming together. But boy, everything else sucks. My God! I right, more first downs, more time of possession, and we just got destroyed. Wow! That is insane. All right, uh, contract offer. You've been busy. All right, Lawrence signs, Ezekiel signs, Lyle Collins is procrastinating. Get out of there. What are you doing? I swear to God, that cat has never gone behind my desk and she is just freaking out right now. <laughs> she, I don't know what she's doing. I could just see her down there biting my power cord in half or something. So if power goes out and we and the episode ends here. That's what happened. Something like that. All right. Um, where are we at? Week 12. We're through week 11. We're done. All right. Let's go ahead and end this episode. Jesus. All right. Bears, 7-3. and three. Vikes, 0-10. Oh Ouch. Saints got the win against us. That was their first win of the season. We have fallen to six and four after such a promising start. And Seattle, San Francisco got a win as well. Pittsburgh eight and two, leading the way there. Houston still unbeaten. Dear God, please do not let them go perfect season. Tennessee two and eight. Jets seven and three. Patriots two under five hundred. Raiders, Chiefs. Only two games separating that whole division. Uh, player stats. Russell Wilson leads the way in yardage. Wentz in touchdowns. Wilson in rating. Anderson in, Anderson's broke the 1,000-yard mark. Crabtree's over 1,100 yards receiving. 
Elliott's almost to a thousand yards, over 900. 88 tackles, 11 sacks for Brockers, and five interceptions. Brown with three for us. All right, guys. Well, there we are. So when we come back, uh, let's see, team, team schedule. There we are. Next episode, we'll come back. We'll finish out the regular season. We will see if we make the playoffs. Uh, we end with, uh, well, out of our last five games, four of them are all divisional. Those will be huge, huge. Redskins, Giants twice, and the Eagles. So we'll be back for that one next episode. Hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.